Good morning. It is 10 11. I'm John Little, live in the Mercedes Benz of Plano News Center. And over the summer, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number 988 was rolled out. The Department of Health and Human Services says there was a 45% increase in August uh, over calls from last year. Lee Richardson from the Brain Performance Center in Dallas is with us, and this change seems to be making a difference. Well, the numbers show that it has, and that's, you know, that's important. And I think, you know, the simplicity of just the the three digit number and the term we all hear now user friendly well things have to be user friendly particularly when we're in a state of crisis so i think it makes a big difference dialing a three digit number which i can remember as as opposed to looking for that 800 number somewhere you know i think that the making it easy making it accessible making it simple really does provide a whole nother level of care what are some you know signs that friends and family members of those who are going through times of struggle might watch out for to help prevent suicide well i think you know this is an amazing statistic there in 2020 the number of suicides was it was outstanding and there was one every 11 minutes when i read that i felt it in my heart and i think that we can be on the lookout and what people need to look for is do you see a change in behavior do you see somebody that's pulling back all of a sudden they're isolating they no longer want to engage with you on any level have you seen a big change in their sleep habits have you seen a change in their diet? Have they just stopped eating? Um, you know, behavioral changes are definite red flags. And I think the best thing anybody can do is talk to that person and just, you know, check in. How are you doing? Is there anything I can do to help you get through the day? Because sometimes showing a little love will get that person through the darkness. And 988 is wonderful. We want to emphasize that. It's great to be able to call it or text it or whatever the case may be. But like you say, you know, just that that one-on-one conversation from somebody you really know can make uh, just a, a huge difference, maybe even a bigger difference. I, I believe a bigger difference because suicide is, a, I believe it's a 10-minute decision that's made in the brain. And if somebody just intervenes, at the right time, and you never get to that 10-minute decision, that's amazing. That is Lee Richardson from the Brain Performance Center in Dallas.